July 2015 wasn't just hot, it was the warmest month ever recorded on Earth. That's according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which has been keeping records since 1880. Scientists report the average U.S. temperature during July was 73.9 degrees Fahrenheit, about 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit above the 20th century average. Alaska had its second warmest year to date, with a temperature 4.7 degrees above average. Honolulu recorded its warmest July ever, with an average temperature of 83.3 degrees. That's 2.1 degrees above average and surpasses the previous record set in 1995. NOAA cites record heat and lack of winter snow as contributing factors for several large wildfires that burned across states, including Oregon, Washington, California, and Idaho. By early August, 27 percent of the U.S. was in drought. Drought conditions worsened in the northwest and parts of the southeast. In southern Florida, 8.2 percent of the state is in severe drought. Remnants of Hurricane Dolores brought record rains to Los Angeles and San Diego, but the much-needed rain will have little impact on the drought in California, where 46 percent of the state is categorized as having the worst drought conditions. Elsewhere, NOAA says South America, Africa, and Western Europe experienced record warmth. The combined average temperature for global land and ocean surfaces was 61.86 degrees. Every major ocean basin had record warmth in some areas. July had record heat, but scientists believe Earth is on track to have its hottest year ever. Record heat is contributing to conditions for the coming El Nino event, which involves large-scale patterns of air pressure, temperature, and winds that can cause global disruption. The National Weather Service predicts a strong El Nino is building, and there's a greater than 90 percent chance that the weather phenomenon will continue through the Northern Hemisphere in the winter of 2015. There is also an 85 percent chance it will last into early spring 2016.